All right, so here's a quick and dirty video on how to use one of these old school battery chargers. I think this is like a 1970s or 80s Sears battery charger. Well, I know it's a Sears. It says Sears on it. But uh, it has these helpful instructions on the back that says, read the instructions, which I don't have. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to, you know, make a quick little video on how to use one of these old school battery chargers that doesn't have an automatic shut off, doesn't have a voltage gauge. All it has is an amp output. Uh, and these things will just keep charging a battery until you boil off all of the electrolytes and uh, it sprays battery acid everywhere and it'll melt through whatever you got it sitting on. Uh, especially if you leave it in the 50 amp start mode uh, because you want to charge your battery quick and forget about it. Don't do that. Have done that. Uh, not smart. Uh, but anyway, uh, the way you tell when one of these is working is when it doesn't have it in the start mode and it's floating somewhere over here. Once it gets down to about two, three, usually on mine it's about two amps, that's when it's done. Uh, if you hook up a battery and it just goes and just sits right there somewhere between zero and two, it's probably good. Uh, as you can see with the uh, this old, big old Group 49 out of Omasi over there. Um, she's right dead. Uh, I, I had all the doors and windows open, uh, clean or trying to uh, evaporate out a bunch of the humidity and uh, forgot about the trunk light and uh, left it on overnight. And uh, she was at half a volt when I came back this morning. Uh, so uh, battery's still good. I was able to quickly put a little bit of a charge in it, throw it on there and get the starter to click. But, uh, she is dead. She's real dead. So uh, I'm going to leave this uh, charging for a long fucking time. I'm going to keep my eye on it, though, because I don't want to have to buy another one of these. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's all there is to it. Um, you got to watch these guys like a hawk. Uh, they are not automatic. Keep your eyes on them. And uh, when it gets down into the uh, below uh, 3 amps, usually on mine it's about 2 amps, that's when it's good and the way to confirm is to pull it off the battery charger and check it with the voltmeter and make sure it is above uh, 12 volts um, if you really want to be sure leave it for you know 12 hours and then check it with the voltmeter because when I pull this guy off the voltmeter it reads 12 it reads dead on 12 and uh, when I put it in the car the uh, starter goes click um, yeah it uh can't always trust the voltmeter ain't much more to it uh, quick and greasy video if you like this kind of garbage, uh, make sure to subscribe, otherwise you're not going to see it. Till next time, Tom out.